In 2022, there's gonna be more challenges to marketers than ever before. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some of the major challenges that marketers are gonna face then and are facing now and talk about a couple things that can help you deal with these different scenarios. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Before you get started, make sure to click the notification bell and make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Okay, so the first thing and perhaps the biggest thing that marketers are gonna be facing is tracking issues. There are so many different communication mediums out there now that impact our MarTech stack. So tracking is gonna be critical. The number one thing you can do is before you start any type of marketing channel interaction, make sure that you get your tracking set up right. I do have some good news. As we are seeing more platforms develop their own CRMs, we've got Facebook lead ads, there's lead forms that are being built into YouTube and into Google, and we're seeing more integrations directly connect to these platforms, such as Shopify integration within Facebook and different areas. It's gonna make it so that tracking becomes much, much easier, not only just for simple things such as setting up Google Analytics tracking, but also outside of that, setting up tracking all the way down to the final sale and that actual revenue that goes to the business and then all the way back up and feeding it into the ad system. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Item number two, data visualization. So how are you actually visualizing the multi-channel data to your business and then drilling down, 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 down into the channel so that you can understand everything from how they hit the website all the way down to the conversion and all the way back up to the first interaction with the first ad. So that full funnel visualization multi-channel is going to be critical for marketers to be able to create. Quick note, by using something like Data Studio, you can create these reports and have them uh, do all that you need. Item number three, marketing mix modeling. So there's a lot of different ways that you can market now. You can spend money on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, programmatic networks, affiliate marketing. You can have organic email marketing. What do you do to create the perfect marketing mix? Well, it's very important that you're able to look at all of your marketing based off of some final sale metric, such as ROAS, but preferably a customer lifetime value would be the best metric that you can. But by understanding the contribution margin from each different channel, you can then create the best system to scale the channels that are working the best while also creating a diversified portfolio so that you don't have too much associated with one individual channel and you kind of keep it all in a good place. Item number four, forecasting, absolutely critical. So you've got your data, your tracking, you've got your data visualization, you've got your marketing mix modeling. How do you then forecast that out over the next week, over the next month, over the next quarter, over the next 12 months? How do you apply seasonality? How do you take into account different uh, linear regression analysis in case something is heading in a positive direction or a negative direction? This is where the future is headed. And when you can tie this forecasting into the final sale, everything starts to become more clear. The next item is multi-channel synergy. So you have all of these different channels contributing to the bottom line, but how do you develop systems so that the channels work together towards a common goal? This is gonna be one of the most important things for the future. If you're running an offer to an ad network that then hits the website and you get the capture, what does the remarketing follow-up look like from that? What does the email sequencing look like from that? You need to make sure that you're mapping all these things and then practicing another thing, which I'll get into in a little bit, which is proper database management as well. Item number six, high performing creative. If your creative is the same as your competitor's creative, then you have no competitive advantage over them. So by consistently developing better creative that these ad platforms like and that they want to allow to get more impression share, you're gonna be able to beat your competitors and convert traffic for less. That's why it's critical that you're not only testing creative on a monthly basis, but also refreshing your overall creative on a quarterly basis. By doing this, this is going to allow you to have consistently better creative that converts for less. In some cases, every quarter may be too much. As long as you're doing it every six months, you should be in a pretty good spot. Item number seven, using analytics is going to be critical and it's very important that you get your data correct, your tracking correct, so that you can use it to its full potential. Item number eight, 
database management and analytics go hand in hand. With Google Analytics, you can actually take that data and you can use that data and feed it into a Google system so that you can advertise to specific traffic sources. You can create audiences inside of Facebook with Facebook Audience Manager. And if you have a database and you have the database map properly and everybody categorize properly and have proper lead scoring in place by doing all of that you can then take that database feed it into the proper position into the ad system and that is going to allow you to target these people at the right frequency the right time within the journey so that you can convert them for less item number nine a major challenge marketers are going to have is a lack of targeting so as the cookie list web evolves as uh, Facebook has more problems with iOS updates and other networks have similar issues. We are going to see targeting get harder and harder to do. So you are going to lose a lot of those abilities, that granular targeting that comes from the ad system, which makes some of the other stuff I'm going to get into later even more important. Item number 10, legal changes, ADA compliance, right? CCPA, GDPR, these government institutions are cracking down on big tech harder than ever. 100% true. And as they're cracking down on big tech, big tech is then cracking down on the way that they deliver these ads and uh, some of the abilities around that. But even, even outside of that, government institutions are making it even more important than ever for you to have your legal ducks in the road just with your own website in the way that you're setting up your privacy policy and the way that you're distributing ads. So you need to make sure that you're 100% legal compliant and go through a legal checklist before you really do any business online. Item number 11, competition online is only going to increase. That's why you need to have the best in class system out there. We're seeing more and more businesses turn to digital marketing every single day and it's becoming really the primary channel really has become the primary channel for advertising you know three four years ago when I was in this business we would sit in big rooms with the traditional TV people who had 80% of the budget right 60% of the budget that has shifted now right our digital marketing agency digital marketing agencies are 60% are of the budget 80% of the budget it's come over this way because of all these opportunities that the different platforms provide Item number 12, another big challenge that marketers are going to have is setting up fast systems, right? So in order to really do this well, and I've, I've seen thousands of digital marketing programs, in order to set up this well, you need to have consistent, awesome new creative coming out. You need to be testing new landing pages. You need to be testing new audiences. You need to be agile, right? And sometimes that's tough for big institutions. It's certainly very hard for, I believe, any business to create in-house, to create a program that has all of the expertise and the ability to deliver these things so quickly that it has an impact and a competitive advantage over other people, it's very, very hard to do in-house. That's why specialty agencies such as ours, Ignite Visibility, do very well because we have these programs, we implement them for clients. So fast systems are going to be very, very important. The next thing is strategy. How are you going to be approaching the channel or the multi-channel approach? What is the specific strategy? Are you going to be targeting zip codes? Are you going to be targeting people who have yachts? Are you going to be targeting people just based off an in-market audience, right? What is the messaging going to be? How are you going to strategically approach that? Not tactical, not just throwing a bunch of things against the wall, but strategically what's the approach? That's what makes a difference in online. Number 14, offer development. You've got a customer. What are the 20 different offers that you can get in front of them and which three to five are going to resonate the best? You need to be able to tap into the customer mindset, the digital marketer mindset, and create offers that are going to be the main ones that they're going to want to consume. But not only that, that once you feed them into your business pipeline are going to allow you to convert them based off of the systems that you have on the back end. And maybe not just convert them once, but convert them multiple, multiple times as you continue to leverage that data that you've got from online. Number 15, channel complexity. It's hard to understand all these different channels. Let me ask you a question. Do you know all the different ways you can target on LinkedIn? Do you know all the different ways you can target on Facebook? Do you know all the different ways you can target on YouTube? For example, do you know if you can target by search term on YouTube? You can, but did you know if that was an option or not? There's so many different targeting abilities out there. And without working with an expert or you being an expert yourself, it's going to be very, very hard to understand the right targeting and the targeting that's going to be the most effective and the offer that you need for that targeting. And so that's why online is getting more complex. It is a challenge, but it's also an opportunity for people who put in the time.
And then finally, benchmark marketing. So when it comes to digital marketing, you can really never know how good you're doing unless you know two things. One would be how good is your competition doing and where are they spending their money? The other one is what's the saturation point for a channel? What do I mean by that? Well, Google is a search channel, right? So it only has a specific amount of demand uh, that can be filled, right? So there's certain people searching, there's a thousand per people searching. You can't get, you know, 1200 uh, clicks from that if only a thousand are searching for a keyword. So there's certain limitations. So it's very important that you understand what's kind of the median, the benchmarking area for the industry. What's the saturation point where you can spend more, 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 but you're not going to get any more return. That's going to allow you to pivot to the other channels, create that diversified portfolio where eventually as a business, you continue to grow. You're maxing out all the different saturation points. You've got acceptable CPAs, ROAS, or lifetime value, and you've created this mix that's going to allow you to have the most successful business possible in the current landscape. So these are some of the challenges that digital marketers are going to be having in 2022. I like to think of them more as opportunities. It's never been a more exciting time to be in digital marketing. There's nothing left that you can use as an excuse. When you look at this board, everything is possible at this point if you have the expertise to implement it properly. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. If you have a comment, I love hearing from you. I always appreciate it. Give me a like and I will see you next time. Goodbye.